into a very cloudy but still warm Orlando day. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm on my own. Uh, Emma is not feeling well, bless her, this morning. So she is staying at the hotel for a little bit to see if she can sleep off whatever it is that is wrong with her. Bless her, I was going to stay with her, but she was like, look, we're in Orlando, go and enjoy yourself. So I've decided to come to Cabana Bay to look around the resort. We stayed here in 2018, it was a fantastic trip. So I thought I'd come here, reminisce, have a look around the resort and just have some nostalgia for this hotel that has a very special place in my heart. So obviously the Swizzle Lounge is a bar that's in the reception area and obviously the reception area is really nicely decked out for Christmas. You have the Universal gift shop that me and Emma has spent many a times coming in and having a look uh, during our coming back from our late nights at Horror Nights and things like that. So if we Can this way obviously like endless summer they do have exclusive merch here so like towels and mugs t-shirts jackets pins everything all the hotels obviously have that same as Disney so yes we spent many times in here after coming back from horror nights and just late nights just enjoying ourselves and enjoying our holiday to be honest walk around the whole pretty much the whole resort you know just reminiscing and stuff like that and then a beautiful view from the lobby up here and then if you come to your right you may see in there Gru is randomly just in the, the Cabana Bay lobby so you never know what what might happen when you stay at a Universal Resort but Gru's down there meeting and greeting guests but yeah if you if you think about coming and staying at Universal come and stay at Cabana Bay stay at Dockside we can't recommend them enough So this is the waiting area to meet the Grinch. Uh, obviously, uh, if you watched our mini vlogs, you know that we met him uh, at the Grinch breakfast at the start of the trip. If you want to know what the wait time is for a Saturday about two o'clock, 200 minutes to meet the Grinch. But what I can tell you, it is very worth it. Highly recommended. And it's definitely something to do here at Universal for obviously a seasonal experience because you can only meet him at Christmas. You can meet the um, the Dr. Seuss Grinch, like the original Grinch. Uh, you can meet him throughout, but if you want to meet the Jim Carrey inspired one, obviously Christmas time at Universal is the only time you're going to be able to meet him. So far I've done the Hulk, that was pretty much a walk on, so that was quite good. Um, I have come in Jurassic Park, uh, I was hoping to do Velocicoaster, but unfortunately the uh, single rider queue is closed and it's posted a 60 minute wait. I was going to jump on River Adventure, but I don't want to do the um, water rides without Emma. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off walking around Jurassic Park, hopefully grab a snack or something because I'm a bit hungry. And I'll probably head into Harry Potter and then do Slamping and then I don't know, we'll have to see what happens. So we are doing something we've never done before. We're going to watch the Grinchmas Who Holiday Spectacular. So we're going to watch this for the very first time, which we're quite excited for. All right, so we're just in the queue for Grinchmas, and look who's joined me. How are you feeling? You feeling a bit better? Yeah, a little bit better. You had a bit of a sleep in that, haven't you? So that's the main thing. But yes, I couldn't move. That's fair enough. You feeling a bit be better now, though? Yeah, I feel like I'm alright. Good. So, yes, we are going to watch The Grinchmas for the first time. And this is weird because we're practically in the middle of both parks. It feels a bit like Horror Night. <laughs> the old Grinchy claws hissed. Then he climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fist. The roof? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I can't do it, but next. Then he slid down the chimney. A rather tight pinch. 
<laughs> uh, just come to the water and hold in Jurassic Park and we've gone for two uh, two drinks that both come in souvenir cups. This one is a mocktail, is a mo no alcohol in it. Yeah, and then this one is an alcoholic drink. This one is the Raptor Spritz Frizz. I'm not, I can't remember what you said this one was, but they're both really good. Now this souvenir cup I wanted last trip, but they completely ran out. And then I noticed when I was coming through here earlier, when I was on my own, that they had them and I messaged you, didn't I? So we've decided- when I was asleep. And so we decided to treat ourselves to these. So we're gonna enjoy these. All right, so we've just come to Tristy, Twisty Treat for the first time. You've gone for a... A cone with coffee ice cream. And I've gone for a butterscotch sundae. Now, obviously, we've heard people rave about Tristy Treat, haven't we? So we've come to the one at Posner Park. And it's 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 mad to know that that Twist Tree is open till half eleven. But we've been we've been talking about this all holiday, so we're gonna we thought why not at ten o'clock at night. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy our ice cream. All right, and we are back. Um, picked up a couple of bits off uh, out of Walmart. Uh, not a great deal, but we picked up a couple of bits. Uh, and we've got another Stanley Cup. So that's two now. Um, uh, we've had a twist. Uh, twist twisty treat for the first time that was really nice definitely one another one of those and for quite reasonably priced as well so that was good but in regards to tomorrow uh, we will be going back to universal uh probably in the afternoon morning wise we're not too sure yet i might have to pop down the outlet the outlets down uh the road just to pick up the last couple of bits that we were supposed to get um but apart from that it's gonna be mainly another universal day tomorrow uh, we got a lot done today. Obviously, I'm just feeling a lot better now, which is good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can't say how I feel in the morning, but... But we'll see. We will we'll, see. We'll make the most of it, whatever it is. But, yes. right, I'm going to edit this video and then we're going to go to bed because it's midnight, another late one. And it... Oh, and it is currently midnight, so at home it's obviously in the morning, so... We'd like to say a very happy birthday. It's my dad's birthday today. Happy so, birthday, Paul. So happy birthday, Dad. Love you loads. Um, and I'll obviously talk to you at some point today because obviously you'll be watching it. Um, but yeah, we shall see you guys tomorrow.